Hello, it's Tuesday the 20th of October. Um, it's quite a nice sunny day and it's quite bright out. Um, and I've come for my lunchtime walk. Um, I've come somewhere new today that I've never been. Um, driving back yesterday from the walk around Ramamere Heath, I noticed a um, signpost for a public footpath or a bridleway. Um, and there's a little lay-by next to it. So I had a look on the OS maps online and had a look where it went and it goes up to a wooded area, quite a big wood that actually attaches to the Aspley Heath Woods. Um, so I'm going to have a look at that wood today, see if I can get anywhere on that footpath. Um, never know. So I'm going to eat my lunch and then go for a walk. For lunch today, I've got um, leftovers from last night's dinner. Um, this is a recipe from the River Cottage Veg book, um, which is a really good book, really uh, recommend that book. Um, this is pasta, um, there's green beans in there, uh, new potatoes, green olives and homemade pesto, which was made out of basil, um, pine nuts, olive oil. I think there was a couple of other things in there as well, I can't remember. Um, but really good recipe, really like this one, um, so I'm going to eat that now. So I've started my walk. It turns out the sign was for the Green Sand Ridge um, ride away or walk. It's quite a fairly long distance walk that goes across Bedfordshire, Hertfordshire I think, maybe even Cambridgeshire as well. Um, I know it goes across Woburn, um, across a sort of very sandy bank that extends across Hertfordshire to Royston I think, um, and maybe onto Cambridge. Um, so I've done little bits and pieces of that walk. And this is another one. Um, looks quite a nice little walk. Goes through some hedgerows. It's quite so far so good. It looks like this path follows the lot down the side of a quite a big woodland, quite a big pine forest. I don't know if there's any paths that go into it, but we'll see if we can find any further down. View the other side of the uh, the path, just through the hedgerow. There's a few mushrooms growing on the side of the path. Quite big ones actually, I'm not, not sure what these are, but they're quite big. So now a path leading off to the left hand side. Not sure if it's a proper footpath or not, or just a track in the woods. But the path I was on continues down. really nice to see quite an open woodland so it means the, um, the 
plants on the floor get a chance to grow. So you get a lot more sort of flat woodland flowers and things. The light gets to come through the trees. Quite a nice view over the landscape from here. See the woods in the distance over the fields. So I haven't found a path to sort of go around in a loop on this walk yet. So I'm going to turn around and just head back the way I came. Um, but still, really nice walk, nice woodland. It's nice and quiet, there's no one else here. I think the uh, pheasant shooting season is upon us though. A few gunshots going on and lots of uh, pheasants darting into bushes every five minutes. Good walk. It's always nice to try and find something somewhere new. So I'm almost back at the road now where I parked. Um, so I had about a uh, 40 minute, 45 minute walk, um, so that's really good. Followed this path, stayed on the same path on the Green Sand Ridge, um, just followed it along the side of the woods. I'm um, really glad I found this place, really nice, I'm a different to come occasionally. Keep finding new places, I've been here this job about six years and I'm still finding new, new little woods around, so it's really nice. Um, it's a good little walk, loads of um, blackberries down here, which is always good to know where there's more. There's loads of slows down here as well, which is good. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little, little look. There's lots of pheasants about, another squirrel, like always squirrels. Yeah, great. Great, hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.